What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, folks. How you doing? You know who this is? I'm back for another video. Now, today's topic, I'm going to expand on something. I want to tell people, people keep asking me, you know, how come, like women will ask me also. They'll ask me why I'm still single. And this relates to uh, what the theme I'm going with, which is popping up right now. Here we go. Uh, MGTOW. What's going on? Uh, chicks ask me, how come I'm still single? And they come to you and, and watch when chicks ask you that because sometimes they'll try to give you a little backhanded compliments. What's wrong with you? You don't find a good woman. Yada, yada, this, yada, yada, that. You want to know why they do this? Because, number one, like I said, I'm, I'm in my mid-40s. If a chick is in her mid-40s, she's the crazy cat lady and single. If I'm in my mid-40s, I'm doing it because that's used to. And that's the truth. I, right now, I choose to be single because look at the the pool. The towel, the pool I have to work with, isn't worth it for me to step into the to the dating lifestyle right now. Because uh, even if you go on Facebook and see women my age, or flipping you fuck out, they don't know what they want. They got a bunch of kids I don't want to deal with. They got a bunch of dudes they've dealt with I won't deal with. A lot of them have hit the wall and they think they're still cute. A lot of them don't work out. And they think they're still cute. A lot of them have friends who tell them they look good. And the bad part about it, their friends look like trash too. They're, they look like they look like they put on a trash bag. And they're, they're like, imagine if you haven't worked out. And imagine if you just ate all day. And all of a sudden, what are your friends going to tell you? Well, my friends would tell you, hey, you fat bastard, you need to get back to the gym. That's at least what my friends would do. But a lot of women don't have good friends. Let me tell you that. And so you're supposed to take them at their face value. Meanwhile, they want to sit there and change you. Here's the, here's the problem I have with what some women do. They'll say, I want a guy bald, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, uh, yada yada this, tall, handsome, dark, whatever. But the minute you say you want some fat chick, here comes the old shaming routine. Oh, you're a fat shamer. I'm like, hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. You can do that. But the minute I request what I would like, I'm a fat shamer. Well, fuck it. I'll be a fat shamer. I don't want no fat chick. Because like they said, and then you got these chicks. And here's, the, and here's how we got to this. They got to the situation. A lot of these chicks... Their government daddy made them that way. Because their excuse was, well, the kids have, have cereal and eat this and I have to eat it all the time. And I don't have time to exercise. But if you go on their, if you go on their Facebook, Wednesday through Sunday, they got a drink in their hand. They got, a, they, got, they got three plates of pasta in front of them. They got three pizzas in front of them. See where I'm getting at? You can't spend 30 minutes a day walking. You can't go to the gym for an hour. You don't have time to do that. But yet you have time to be drunk. And then I'm expected to accept you for that. Number one, if she if she's in the club Wednesday through Sunday, that's an automatic no over here. Because if you look at chicks who do that, they're beat. They look bad. They just they hit the wall, and every chick that has done every chick I have seen one Wednesday through Sunday, they have done has done that. Now let me put it to you. Let me spin it on the other side. There are a lot of females out there who care about themselves, who are in the gym because I see it, and I can you, you can tell the difference. But a lot of people are under the impression you should take me as I am, but yet they want to make demands on how you should look. And I'm like, fuck you. Keep it moving, bitch. Like I said, I go to the gym 
five days a week. I what happened is I was uh, I used to lift I was lifting consistently from I'm 46. I say I, I've consistently lifted since I've been 19. I'll say 19. Really 18. I'll say 19. I'll say 20. Make it 26 years. And during those times, I had breaks. And the last time I had a break was well, my job right before um right like like Obama's last three years in office, we were real busy at my job, and I was getting crazy over time. I was working all the time, yada yada yada, and I I went overweight, and I knew how to judge my weight. Like I where I work at, there's just like five floors, and I'm on the third floor. I couldn't make it to the third floor, and once I got there, I was I was a little bit huffing and puffing. No, it could have been old age, maybe, but I knew I was carrying too much weight, so I took the discipline, and I told myself, and, let, and others used to ask me, I said, I'm going to go to the gym, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to do X, Y, Z. What I did is I laid a plan out, and I said, I'm not losing all this weight all at once, because if you see people with loose skin, you still got to go go through surgery to get that loose skin removed. What I did is I had a plan. Go to the gym. I want, I want to lose the weight first. Lose fat first. Then I want to rebuild my muscle. So what I did is I took about my first year and a half. I just dieted. I dieted. I did cardio. And I didn't go crazy on the weights. I didn't bring a belt because if I bought a belt, I would go psycho with the weights. That took about, after two, about two years, yeah, about two years, two, two, two and a half, three years after that, I got to the point now where I can, I could go to the gym with the, with the specific task of pulling muscle on. And now I've done that, and I'm doing that, but now I'm to the point now where, and people say you can't do this, but you can, I'm losing my, trying to lose my fat and put muscle on at the same time. It's just a tricky, tricky thing to do, but you can do it if you, a you have a good trainer, or b you know what you're doing, c if you're really dedicated to do it. And that's the point I'm on now. Now, I'm doing all this work in the gym for me, so I want to have for longevity. And I could be hit by a bus, I could be hit by lightning, I could be hit by various things tomorrow. I know this isn't guaranteed, but that being said, why should I have to sacrifice? For a 300 pound chick If I'm going to the gym every day It don't make sense if that's the case I just want to quit And just do what I want to do No What it is Is I have I have a set Female What I want And I'm going after that Now does that mean That I'm not going to You know Play the field If I have to play the field I'll do what I have to do I'm not a monk But that doesn't mean I'm going to shack them up Well this is not this is not the United States of America over here. I mean, what happens between me and a female, that's between us. If she's down and I'm down, it is what it is. Now, I have the old uh, bees around. I have the old gym hats around. I'll make sure she's on something because I ain't trying to have no kids. But the fact remains is this. I refuse to settle for these chicks that are out there right now. If you look at them right now, hair care products have turned them. Look, I have a better hairline than most of these chicks. That's fucked up, but it's true. Like I said, go through Facebook. Go through some of your pictures. If you're in my age, if you're in my age and you actually work. There's a lot of people now working out in my age. Right? Look at the people you went to school with and look at, the, look at their pictures. 46... If you're in your 40s, you shouldn't be, you should not be looking like you're that old. But some people let wear and tear, and they didn't do anything. But it mostly it's the drinking and the food you're eating. And I refuse to have, I refuse to sit around for some fat chick, you know, way, way under her wings. I, will, I'll, I want the woman who I want. And I'm, I'm, I refuse, I refuse to make a sacrifice for it. Now, if I find a chick that I would like to get with and she's cool, we get down. But as far as dating scene, I want—I I, I don't—I don't want a chick 
Look, if she's in her, if she's my age, number one, she can't look like she hit the wall. Cause that would that would be counterintuitive to what I would want. Number two, she would have to be under, you know, she would have to do some type of exercise just for simple fact you just want longevity out of your life. And three, she would have to have her head on her shoulders. The kids, you guys know my stance on kids. So, I'm telling you what I would want out of life. You should look for the same two, no matter how old you are. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Ex don't accept. When they, and, and, and they'll try to. They'll try to shame you, because you don't want some fat chick. Well, they'll say, well, you should be happy with whoever you want. I'm like. I will be happy with whoever I want. That's why I want no fat bitch. And then they tell they want to say they're not fat. At the end of the day, you're fat. And now, at the end of the day, quit using that myth that all skinny, that all fat people aren't, or there's some fat people are healthy. Studies have proven now that that is a myth. So stop that. So let's fat shame, get these people down in weight, and we can wait and see. All right, now, thank you, and I appreciate it later. For this and many other videos, check out my page. I'm sure you'll like that from internationals to MGTOW. Check my page. Out of focus.